we are making a flamingo mask. Everything you see came from Hobby Lobby. Before this project, you need all this stuff. You need the feathers, you need the paint, you need a mask. There's a couple different masking options that you can choose from at the store. So this is the mask that I chose. It's got this like, all this flair going on. So I was thinking feathers. This is Lost Lagoon and this is Chic Pink. I got these really cool blue little gems that I'm gonna out, do some outlining with, just as a little accent piece to finish everything off. And then the feathers, because you have to have feathers if you're doing a flamingo mask. I mean, come on. They're fluff in candy pink. And then I got these um, because they're a little bit longer. So these are gonna be more of like, the, the, like up here, the big accent ones. These white ones, you probably can't see, but they actually have like glitter on the edge. For this, you're gonna want a few extra things. Like, for example, I'm gonna use a sponge paintbrush. I actually went and raided Reagan's room for all the paint stuff. We'll see how this goes. I'm not really not a painter, so we'll see. Hot glue. I would recommend using the smaller hot glue guns with the skinnier glue sticks, just because this stuff's pretty fine, so you don't really wanna have a ton of glue. Having said that, I'm gonna be using my big hot glue gun because I'm out of little skinny little tiny ones, so we'll work with what we got, as Kristen likes to say. Let's go ahead and get started, but first, and hit the like button on this. We just really, really, really appreciate it. Let's just, let's go ahead and roll the intro. So here's my plan. I'm gonna do this side of the mask in the blue, and then I'm gonna have it fade into the pink to this side of the mask. And then this is where all the feathers are gonna go. So I don't really care so much about this side, but I just want it to be a base of pink for the feathers. I really like this blue. Oh, that's a pretty blue. You paint and you're cringing watching this, I do apologize. Really, really apologize. <laughs> So our mask is basically dry. So let's talk about feathers. This is gonna be the main portion of the mask. So when I pulled these out, these are actually a little bit longer than I thought they were. We're going to basically just cut them into sections. I'm gonna have them start here and move their way out and up. So I want them to start like really short here and then fan out and get bigger as we go. So I'm actually going to use my scissors and I'm gonna just cut that into a little section, a little tiny piece, and it's gonna start here. And then we're just gonna go all the way up and then we'll do the next layer and the next layer and next layer and we'll just go along. We'll just go longer as we go. So we're just gonna, and I'm cutting these in like, let's see. These are about one inch pieces. And I'm gonna keep this guy a little bit longer because you have more of that feather look so he'll look better on the outside. This on here, just along the spine of that feather, and start. So right there. We're getting to around the eye, so I want to make sure I don't want to go over the eye. Like this is probably going to drive me nuts. I'll probably trim that out when I'm done. But I had this piece kind of going down this way, not straight into the eye, obviously. And then this piece, I'm going to have it go up this way. <laughs> I'm 
seriously, these feathers are everywhere. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's glorious. It is absolutely glorious. Going a little bit longer with our cuts. So instead of an inch, maybe more closer to about, what is this? It's probably closer to two inches now. We're going a little bit longer. Bring out, busting out these white ones and these pink ones. Yeah, buddy. Now I want to cut out all of this excess around the eyeballs. I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to start cutting. I'm doing it from the underside just because it's more of a clear line. Okay, so I don't like these little lines here. Add just these little, these little shorty ones. So I'm just going to cover up all the ugliness from what you were making earlier. He might need to take an allergy pill before wearing this. Now we're ready for jewels. Again, you'd wanna use a smaller one. Don't use this big ass one, but I, it's what I got. So I'm actually going to keep it on the, the little stand. That's a little trick I learned just from previous projects because I'm gonna be, I mean, there's a lot of these to do, so. I don't want to have to keep pulling it off the thing. We just kind of, because it kind of will naturally ooze a little bit. So I just, I just need a touch. Don't need a lot. So if you yourself, or on YouTube searching up how to DIY a masquerade mask and you came across this video, then by all means, now is a good time to hit that like button. Yes. I am really happy with how this turned out. This was a really easy project. I was very intimidated. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. And yeah, if you've made it this far in the video, like seriously hit the like button because I mean that you've made it this far. <laughs>